So Footstock have just dropped the shocker and announced this morning that they are also going into administration, much like Football Index did earlier this month. But why do we think that actually is? Obviously we've got the announcement on the screen there, we'll go through that in just a second. If you're affected as a user, how should you be thinking, what should you be doing right now? Is it also likely to affect other platforms like SoRare or Players.Exchange? I think it's fair to say that the same group of people here have unfortunately been hit with a bit of a double whammy this month. Okay, so here's the official statement that's just gone up from Footstock. It says, Dear customers, I'm announcing with deep regret that Footstock has surrendered its UK gambling licence and ceased trading with immediate effect. The whole sector has been shaken by recent events. As a result, over the last few days, we've suffered significant setbacks, expected and necessary funding being put on ice. We can no longer run our Cedars campaign and valuable partners are pausing cooperations. These unprecedented circumstances have crushed our company in a crucial period of growth, but without funding, Footstock cannot survive. Over the last few days, we tried incredibly hard to find a solution that allows us to stay operational, but ultimately, I'm sorry to announce that Footstock has entered the German equivalent of UK administration, and we have had to suspend the platform. So over the coming weeks, we'll continue to consult with the professional advisors and keep you informed of the next steps as, we soon, as soon as we're uh, able to, including information about your cash balances. Thank you for your loyal support. It's with great sadness that we have had no option but to take these steps. If you have any questions, please contact us and then the contact email down there below from their CEO, Oliver. So that is you know, some pretty heavy news there for a group of people which I suspect are probably already in a bit of a tricky situation right now. Now what I can't do is comment on the Footstock business model because you know I didn't look at it in depth enough myself to have um, a view on whether it was sustainable or not like I did with Football Index but I think that this is running very closely aligned uh, they do have a similar-ish model they were in a similar sector as they admit themselves there so I think it's highly likely that what's happened here is a lot of users have actually decided to stop playing and withdraw their money following the Football Index situation that's currently ongoing um, obviously they've mentioned the, the Cedars uh, funding there so investors too are getting cold feet because of what's happened with Football Index which is no real fault of foot stocks um, or certainly no real fault of the users but as a result um, you know things are no longer viable for them right now plus also they mention uh, valuable partners are pausing cooperation now that can mean all sorts of things sponsorship advertising obviously there's a lot of companies under fire right now that have been connected to football index and what's happened there what's currently unraveling there and they no longer want to be associated with um, that kind of product so that could be why they've dropped footstock now i mean the Gambling Commission could have also suspended their license there. There is a mention of their gambling license in there. So at this point in time, we don't know, although we do know that the platform has been suspended. Fortunately, um, they've kind of done it in that manner rather than making big changes or announcements to changes, which has then led um, a crazy sort of scattering of customers doing different things, which could affect the, the end outcome. But I think really in a sensitive time for Football Index users in particular, because I know a lot of people are using Football Index and Footstock, and also uh, platforms like Sorare, which we should probably mention as well. Um, it's probably you know it's probably crushing news right now because they've lost money one platform, potentially going to lose some more money in this platform, and also there may be people right now um, thinking about withdrawing their money from platforms like Sorare because again it's not the same platform, it's not the same model, but it does have similarities and. You know, understandably, people are going to get cold feet when they've lost such a big chunk like people have in Football Index. So it'll be interesting to see what the Gambling Commission come up with this, but that is the current announcement. Um, it's bad news, but what I would like to say, you know, if you're affected by this as well as or by the previous announcements, do your best to act rationally, think it through, um, and understand the options before you actually act. Do your own homework. Uh, don't just take on advice from anonymous people online, particularly on Twitter, because a lot of crazy things are said. Um, and you know, hopefully, this will have a better solution. And it's probably not likely to be a short-term answer either. It's not going to be a short-term solution. It's going to take a matter of months, possibly even years, for this to fully go through and everything to be processed. So accept that now, and you won't be feeling the pain so much when you're sort of checking 
each and every day for an update. Now, if you're finding this video and you're completely not aware of what's happened previously with Footbex, Football Index, we'll put a link in the, the end screen here, along with some other football trading videos for you to check out.